Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to group and ungroup pivot table rows with macros. So similar to what I showed you in my last video, which is how to group and ungroup rows uh, with macro. Um, this one, it, the difference is that you are going to group and ungroup rows within a pivot table. So um, similar to my last uh, video, I found that this is some trick that's very simple, very easy to make. You will see it's just two lines of codes, but then it's very helpful when you um, create reports or dashboards for uh, clients who do not have the patience to see all the details. They just want to see the summary, uh, but they also want to have the option to see the detail when they want to. Uh, this is something that's really handy for them. So I'm going to show you in the, this video. So this is how the end result is going to look like. So for example, let's say I have this pivot table here um, and I want to make it um, and then you see I have all those um, signs there where I can, when I click on it, I can summarize them. I can summarize them. Um, but then if I want to ungroup all of them, I basically have to click four times. But then I want to make it like with just one click, it comes to here. And then this is the micro that I did. Okay, so this is ungrouped. And then now I group. And then you see it, here we go. And then now I want to ungroup all four of them. So instead of clicking four times, I just click un ungroup and then you see all the summary. So how do we get there? Um, well, first, um, if you, you are wondering how to get to this um, pivot table layout, I can quickly show you that. Um, so I have my raw data here. Um, it's a small sample data just for the sake of demonstrating. So let's say this is my data table. You select all the table and then you go to insert pivot table. And then um, let's say I want to create in a new worksheet. So I go here and then let's say I want to show um, my data by country. Um, and now I want to show with, uh, within country, I want to show by performance rating. So um, it's going to be here, like on the row. And now I want to show the average mirror increase suggestion for each of the selections. So this is sum. When you, when you drop, uh, drill it uh, and drop it to here, it's sum. And then you just change it to average. And then let's say I want a percent. So I basically go percent and I want to... Um, digits after the decimal point. So that's how I get to the pivot table that I'm showing you here. So this is the pivot table that I'm showing. And then you can see here I can group and ungroup. Um, and then this is how I get to here. So now from here to here, I need to create those two bottoms. And then to do that, um, I basically go to the developer tab. If you are wondering how to get to the developer tab, um, you can uh, watch my first video, uh, my video on, on macro for beginners. Like the first one is show, is going to show you how to get this developer tab out. So go to developer tab and then go to insert, um, create a button, and then let's say just name it whatever. Okay. Um, after OK, you're going to have this button. And then let's say you want to add a tag. So let's say on um, group table, something like that. Um, and then the um, while well, you arrange it to make sure it fits your uh, test. Um, and then the next thing you do is to click on it uh, and then <clears throat> right click. And then you uh, are going to assign macro to it. So let's say this one that I'm assigning is the on group pivot table. And then here we go. So that's how you create this bottom. So now let's see the code behind it. So I go for um, for uh, shortcut, go ultra, uh, outer and F11. So here you can see are my two um, codes for expanding and uh, um, clap, uh, clap spin uh, all the pivot tables. So the first one is the ungroup. So it's basically saying that for the active sheets, my pivot table, which is the pivot table one, um, and under within the pivot table one, my field of country, I want to show all detail because it's true. And then the next one is basically saying uh, active sheet uh, pivot table, piv um, uh, this pivot table and uh, the field pivot um, country we do not want to show all the detail. So I'm going to show you where you can find such information. So first, the pivot table. So how do you know the name of your pivot table? So 
click on your pivot table, you're going to see there's a tab of pivot table tools. You go to analyze and then you go top left. Here is the name of your pivot table. Like you can just copy and paste this. And then also here you can see your active field. And then this is country. This is the name of your pivot field. And then you just need to make sure you have double quotes and then you have those names pasted here exactly as it is. And then you save it and then you close it. Um, and then now you can see we have assigned the ungroup pivot table macro to it. So now let's see. Um, so now let's group it and then now ungroup it. It will expand. Here you go. Yeah. So that's how it's gonna work. Uh, it's gonna work. Um, I'm gonna paste uh, the uh, the macro codes into my description so that it's easy for you to copy and paste. So I hope that you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment, and I will talk to you very soon.